back to State of the Union. I'm Caitlin Collins. It's a familiar biography. A multimillionaire businessman running for president promising to shake up Washington. His name is not former President Trump. It's Vivek Ramaswamy. He is 37. He's using his biotech fortune to make early inroads with Republican voters. And the candidate, Vivek Ramaswamy, joins me now. Thank you so much for being here. You know, you're touting your outsider status as equality, but I don't know of any president in recent history we've had that did not either hold office or was not a national figure like Trump was. So why do you think you can win? So, look, I'm running distinctively on my vision for this country. I'm not running on my biography or my business credentials. I'm running on a vision for this country that I've articulated over the last several years. And a lot of the conservative base actually is familiar with me through the three books I've written, two of which are published, traveled the country and otherwise. But my view is we're in the middle of this national identity crisis, where if you ask most people my age, really any age, what does it mean to be an American today? You get a blank stare in response. And I think that is the vacuum at the heart of our national soul. And I think the, the opportunity for the GOP now is not just to complain about wokeness or gender ideology or climate ideology, but actually to go upstream and fill that black hole with a vision of American national identity that runs so deep that it dilutes these agendas to irrelevance and actually unifies us as a country. And I'm running because I believe genuinely that I'm the candidate best positioned to actually deliver national unity by reawakening that shared American identity. I want to ask you more about that platform, but you are self-funding your campaign, at least for right now. How much are you prepared to spend? So there's, there's really no limit we've put on in terms of what I'm going to spend on this campaign. I've been fortunate to live the full arc of the American dream. And if there's one thing I care about advancing, it is about reviving that missing national identity in our country, where we've celebrated our diversity for so long that we forgot the ways we're really just the same. That is what I care about more than anything else. That being said, I think a lot of businessmen or, or you know, history would teach self-funders make the mistake of thinking that they can just use their own money as a substitute for gaining the support of voters. To the contrary, this campaign is actually going to be lifted up by bottom-up grassroots donations. We're already off to a great start in the first few weeks on that front as well. So it'll be a combination of those things. But what it did liberate me from is many Republicans, what they do is they ring the tin can, carry a hat in hand, and ask for donors for permission to run. I was allowed to skip that step because of, you know, not only my accomplishments, but the fact that I don't want to be beholden to a Republican donor class that's the normal gatekeeper in this process, one of the things I'm calling out. Well, on that front, one of the things, you know, you've been dubbed the CEO of Anti-Woke. You have written several of these books. You, you've been very vocal of your criticism of what you say is wokeism, woke religion. Can you just define how you, you know, how do you define woke? Hi, I'm Tisha Paul. Welcome to American Business News. Friends, hit that free like and that free subscribe button. That way you'll get the latest breaking news and check out the tag products from Saks Fifth Avenue. You can actually shop and watch a show at the same time. So that was Vivek Ramisami. He was on with a CNN reporter and the woke culture brought up and this segment today is about the woke culture. And as you know, some of us are anti-woke because they've gone too far. The woke culture destroyed San Francisco. It's destroying Manhattan. It's just a broad level of anything goes. And what we don't like about the woke culture is that it involves our children. You see that the federal government who controls schools, where the state controls schools, they are now literally indoctrinating our kids with something called critical race theory. So basically a child does not get to think for herself or himself anymore. The government is going to teach a child how to think. And that's a problem because we are stifling creativity from children. As a former school teacher in the United States, I'm telling you that critical race theory stifle growth for children. And this is why Vivek Ramisamy is so popular. He's rising. He's an up and coming because he's an anti-woke candidate and he's talking common sense and that's what's missing now in america woke stands for no common sense now we saw a backlash from woke target lost billions budweiser lost billions heinenstein bush another drink alcohol company lost billions and then some of these transgender that are woke 
They're saying they don't even want to be transgender anymore. They're confused. And now we have doctors in the United States saying that taxpayers need to be on the hook for people who are converting from a male to a woman or from a woman to a male. So we knew it was always about money. And work was started to help black people. That's not the case today. A bunch of politicians hijacked woke and it became more of a political movement. And it does not include blacks anymore. It includes lesbian, gays, bisexual, transgender, bin binaria, but nothing about blacks anymore. Even though it was designed to help blacks, it's not being helped. Blacks are not being helped anymore by the woke culture. So the woke culture is hurting America. It's not helping America. We can see from the backlashes, the billions. We know DeSanta and Disney World, they're in court neck and neck over the woke culture. That's, that's money being lost. That's all woke is doing is litigating things, destroying things, hurting children, and hurting culture. And that's why Vivek Ramasam is such a strong candidate rising. People are saying, why is he rising in poll? He doesn't even have any experience in office because he is a common sense person. And he's talking about we need common sense back in America and we need to walk away from the extremeness of woke. And America is a very extreme place. That's the whole thing. We're extreme with wealth. We're extreme with poverty. We're extreme with po um, working. We're extreme with beauty. And we're extreme with woke. And we need to get back in the middle because the woke joke has got to end. Woke needs to wake up to reality and we need to balance it because we are a diverse nation. You can't just say now we're a woke culture. 1% can't control the 99%. We are a diverse nation and we do respect and protect every group. But for one group to be hijacking another, it isn't right. Friends, go ahead and hit that free like and that free subscribe button. That way you'll get the latest breaking news from the United States. And check out the tag products from Saks Fifth Avenue. Now you can shop and watch TV at the same time. YouTube is bringing to you the latest